All right, coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Max Holloway. You ready? You ready? Well, it took a while, but the rematch is upon us. Max Holloway versus Conor McGregor. Of course, they met in Boston back in 2013. That night, it was McGregor by decision. Of course, Holloway went on to win 13 consecutive fights thereafter. And Conor McGregor hurt himself in that fight and still was able to beat Max across all the scorecards. Shows how tremendous an athlete he is. But Max Holloway today is a much different fighter than he was way back in Boston. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. McGregor gets back up, no surprise there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, he's got the longer reach and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. What a body kick. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike. You can be whipping like this. It only exhausts you because every moment you're trying to throw to knock his opponent out, you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Liver kick, those kicks is going to shut your body off. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Keep those hands high. That is a huge shot here, DC. I'm not sure how he's standing. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing show and talk to your tough. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet. Can't take many of those, you better check. Nice knee to the body there. Under a minute now to go round one. Head kick land. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Okay. Oh! 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. 20 seconds left. Leg kick. Holloway's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Round two, Conor McGregor. Are you ready? And Max Blessed Holloway. Oh, buckle him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, McGregor's shot is blocked. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach, it's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Real nice body play. And both guys really throwing with authority. Holloway not having it. So we lean on the numbers here. 47 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor.
and landing with 51% accuracy thus far against Max Holloway. Nice entry directly into the prison. Nice entry. Close guard. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Bottom fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. So he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers. He There's Buffer now with. Up next, it's a lightweight bout between Edson Barboza and Max Holloway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the afternoon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. What a body kick. All right, going for the early takedown, and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground. And that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward. He fight. felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. 
Way to hide that leg kick. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Some nice back and forth action here. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just over two minutes to go. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, head kick blocked by Edson Jr. Barbosa. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Edson Barbosa. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stands up. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your tough. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. 